Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you a great way to dock and master track with metering in Reaper. Now this tip came from a user named Constant Demise over at Reddit at the Reaper subreddit, which is a great community for discussing Reaper and coming up with tips just like this. So I wanted to give them credit for this idea. I have a project in front of me here, and I want to dock the master track so we can see it at all times during the mix and also see some very useful metering. We'll start off by going to the view menu and choosing floating mixer master. This is the master track for this project, where we can control the whole mix with one fader. And we're going to dock this on the right side of our screen, although you could put it on the left side if you prefer. So we're going to go down here and click this button and make sure we turn off show sends when size permits and show effects parameters when size permits. But we want to leave on show effects inserts when size permits. So we can see our effects over here. So I'm going to go back here. Go to the master track and choose show in Docker. And that's going to dock it either down here at the bottom or up top. But either way, just grab this tab and drag it to the right side of your window. Well, like I said, you could put it on the left side if you prefer. And now that fader is right over here. So we can monitor our mix. But we'll play them back or mixing our song. So now we're going to add some metering plugins up here on the master track effects. So we can click either over here or hit the effects button. And that opens up the effects dialog. Let's search in the filter for a plugin called the oscilloscope meter. And it shows up right here. Let's double click it. And what this plugin is going to do is it's going to show us the waveform of our audio. In this case, the master fader. But we can solo our tracks and just see those waveforms instead, like the bass or the piano. So let's add another metering plugin to the master track. Double click over here and type in spectrum. Then this plugin shows up, which is a frequency spectrum analyzer meter. Let's double click this. And here we can view our frequencies on the master track. Again, we can solo our tracks to see those frequencies instead. So now let's add a goniometer plugin. Let's type it in. And that shows up right here. And this meter is useful for seeing how stereo our tracks are. Here's the mono or center channel. And the wider the meter is, the more stereo the sound. So if we just solo the bass, we could see it's just in mono. While the piano is more in stereo. Let's add one more metering plugin and type in dynamic range meter. It shows up right here, which is going to show us how much dynamic range we're using. So now we can close the effects chain window. Then we're going to right click on each effect up here and choose show embedded user interface in the mixer. So now we can see the oscilloscope right here. And we'll do the same with the other plugins. 
show embedded user interface in the mixer. Now we have the frequency spectrum analyzer right here. So again, we can monitor our frequencies at all times. And we'll do the same thing for the goniometer and the dynamic range meter. So now we can see all four meters at the same time. On the stereo mix, or in any tracks we saw. So now at all times, we can visually monitor what's going on in our mix. And we can always hide it if we need more room and show it again right here. Or we can go to the Actions menu, show Action List, and search Master Track, and assign a keyboard shortcut to this action to hide and show the master track and the meters. And we don't have to set this up each time. We could save it as a project template or just save it as an effects chain. Let's open up the effects, right click over here, go to effects chains, and save all effects as chain. Give it a name, master track meters, and save it. And now, if we're working in a different project, just dock it on the right side, right click the effects, go to effects chains, and choose that effects chain. And then it shows up exactly how we set it up. So that's pretty much it. That's a very useful way to dock our master track in Reaper. So I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.